And we're about to start now with the under 13 girls, the first race of the day, their under starters orders. And away they go. And unlike previous years where it's a gun, it's now a new starting system, a hooter. And as you can see, the charge away from Calendar House in the background to reach the first hill. Memories of this, Kelsey? That's a big hill to start with. I think I got up the top of that hill and I was wondering where the finish was already. Um, but brilliant memories from my time there as an under 13. Really good turnout from the under 13 girls today. Numbers are looking really solid and a lot of different clubs in there. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is the most um, Scottish clubs we've ever had represented. 109 clubs represented at the um, championships here. Yeah, it certainly is from the information that we've been uh, given. Peter Jardin, Scottish Athletics um, Communications Officer, he's been really good at covering that in the, the, the week leading up to the event. And we do understand it is the most clubs, and they do come from the length and breadth of the country. And the beauty of the National Cross Country Championships with people from North Uist, uh, the islands, Stornoway, um, down in the borders, Dumfries. You know, so it really does crisscross the country. They've all been working hard throughout the winter in preparation for this, as is obviously the events team and the local club that's laid the course. Um, and we're seeing the rewards today. The conditions today, pretty good. You can see the tape blowing there. It was pretty windy today, but in the whole, it stayed dry and was just overcast. So it was decent conditions, unlike two years ago. And the course has stood up remarkably well as we'll see throughout the, the evening. So the girls well into the race now, they're coming back out the golf course. Uh, so they're about halfway through their two mile, two mile race with under 13, so quite a distance. And as you can see, some muddy bits on the course, so it is a challenge. And back to the leaders, and it's Inverness Vest in the lead. That's Lois McCray in the front from Inverness. The way that I would expect her to run, hitting it from the front. I watched her in the under 13 championships in the summer in the 800 and commanding lead from the get go, doesn't hang around, seems to be her way of running. So Inverness, Lois McCray, strong and running. We now have a team of Slovenian athlete coming in as well in the third spot, Strathairn Harrier. Gilly Dallas, she's going to hold on. Rhea Brown of Team East Lothian picks up that. Rhea Brown is pushing her all the way to the line there, and that'll be another medal for Team East Lothian. Yep. Um, so it's Freya, also a good track runner, second in the under 13 indoor 800. And that's a Gifnick athlete coming Freya Scobie now. coming through now for Gifnick, who always do well in the team competition. And then that looks like Nancy Corey's come through really strongly there for Harmony. So a few places changing. And then that's Emily Christie of Falka Victoria. So fantastic run by the local athlete there, finishing sixth. Lots of different vests coming through here. You know, we've got another Harmony vest and we're going to the medal presentation now. So in third place, we're going to have um, Freya Brown. Oh, we've got Ailey stepping up now. So there's Strather and Harrier, Ailey Dallas. She was in silver, and we should have the winner away to step up. Lois McRae, Inverness Harrier, and she's our winner for this year. Well done, so girls. So there she is with the trophy and her medal and a picture of Calendar House in the background.